we uh, ah, Catalina, dude, just what do you think of RNG? I don't think it's so bad here. Um, usually, what every Protoss player would do is that they mm -hmm. start off with the two gates, so mm -hmm. uh, they have the adept. So scouting is not as much of a serious problem, and because they have a set build order that they can't really deviate. Actually, okay. uh, I don't think RNG is a big of a factor compared to other matchups here. All right. Well, we're going to be going right into it because you're on the top side of Catalina. It's a map named after all the Korean groups. Uh, well, one Korean group in particular, but okay. the octopus in the middle. It has a tentacle for every one of the major K-pop groups. But anyways, in the red, Protoss Strunks playing for Psystorm Gaming. It's Peely Peely. Spawning in the middle left, it's from Nocturnal Gamers, the returning player who has proven himself. It's Antoine Des. All right. So these builds actually have like one thing different. There's an extra gateway here for Antoine Des, whereas right. you know in production we've got the Stargate for Philly Philly. Philly Philly definitely known for favoring more Stargate based play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Stargate it, is an undeniably good choice. It, the Oracle is just for its small cost. Mm -hmm. It does so much. It can do harass, it can tag units, and it can play a much bigger role than it's intended to. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, that's <laughs> that's a dangerous statement. But I'm saying that it's a really cost efficient for the first unit. Yeah, definitely. And we'll see where uh, he chooses to go after that Oracle Yep, yeah, exactly. Everyone knew that was coming, but what gets built after this, I think, is going to be the more important. Right. Uh, usually, you want to have two gateways so that you could have two adepts or two stalkers so that you mm -hmm. can defend it. The problem with not having that is, um, I see it a lot in uh, early MMR ladders, is that mm -hmm. if you just have two adepts and the shade them in, mm -hmm. then it's pretty much GG because the workers can just like one hit everything. and. Mm -hmm. With, even without with the proper um, photon overcharge response, it can set quite the difference apart. But because he uh, Antoine went for two stalkers, it seems right. that he'll be safer now. Yeah, and Robo is already three quarters of the way started for Antoine Des. So moving into the next stage of this game, looks like it'll settle into a mid game. A Robo also in production for Pili Pili, but a little bit behind. Second Oracle on the way. This one's kind of getting into a little bit of harassment, but good uh, overcharge and actually getting it. Oh, stalkers. that Oracle loss is just too huge. Yeah. Now, Oracle is, I've, I've, I've said it before, it's really important because you have to tag armies, you have to check what kind of tech they have. If you don't have that oracle, then you're going to either make another oracle, which right. means you're that much late on tech timings, or you're going to have to make a sentry and send a hallucinated phoenix. But here comes the second oracle, and let's see what he can do. This oracle actually taking a lot of damage, and... Oh! Escapes with one hit away from death. Yeah, but taking so much damage to the hole is such a big deal as a protoss player. That never regenerates. Never. Shield damage True. doesn't matter. Um, in control refers to that as like shark mode, where you poke in, lose your shields, and get out, and then just right. constantly re refueling that. But this oracle going to be uh, very brittle moving there, in. There's there. some truth to that, but if there's two stalkers and one sentry, then you either can't get anything done, or you're going to risk a lot, uh, but you're going to still get the damage done. And I think that was a good choice. Yes, the, you can't get those health back, but if you can destroy three probes early on, then that can somewhat negate the difference uh, if you've lost because of that Oracle dying. Fair enough. Alright, so we've got Blink being uh, started here for Antoine Des with resonating glaives coming from Pilly Pilly. Uh, now, I'm not the biggest expert when it comes to PvP, but I think this Blink uh, speaks defensively for the Protoss player. So I'm thinking that it might possibly want to go for a uh, third base and because we're not seeing an explosion of gateways I can assume that this is a defensive position uh, de defensive tech to better secure a macro game yeah well four gateways are in production for Pilly Pilly so you could absolutely be right he's been behind on the gateway count since pretty much the word go but at this point, right. moving into the mid game, he's going to have a huge gateway count that might translate into some some defense, like you said, um, like maybe if he takes a third base. But barring a third base, I just this is going to have to be an attack. 
Right, and uh, Antoine is making Immortals right now, and mm -hmm. that is really bad because he's going for uh, what's that? Uh, uh, adepts right now. He right. has made the gateways. Uh, let's see, there's a total of seven gateways for Pilly Pilly, which is mm -hmm. the standard for professional players doing a two base all in. Okay. And uh, there's a third base coming in, but I'm not sure if these immortals are going to help it. He needs something else right now. Yeah, you, this is actually some really good positioning here by Pilly Pilly because he can easily right. go in there and snipe that third base, but he doesn't know what's actually there just yet. On um, the adepts right. coming in and getting a nice uh, Oh, if they're forced yeah. fields, then he has completely locked out. Yeah, he's locked <laughs> completely out, dude. And the overcharge is doing some decent damage with the sentries and doing a great job. Oh, really? A micro. Room. Right, if he just can, uh, I, I don't think he shouldn't even need to fight here, but with so much advantage in the supply, he mm -hmm. can just destroy the immortal with adepts doing 10 damage each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, apparently the blue uh, Protoss is also known as Mike Ross, so uh, Mike Ross actually coming in here and... Uh, the Immortal is doing so much damage. Now, even though it's Antoine's base, that Immortal for Pilly Pilly has taken the high ground advantage, and it is absolutely wrecking havoc in this year. <laughs> dude, this is incredible play by Pilly Pilly. Totally wrecking his opponent's supply. He's at 41 army supply against Mike Ross's 18, and... My there it is, the well here comes are... the well play, and it's a GG. Yes, and that is going to be this series with Psystorm Gaming taking it, what was that, 4-2? Uh, I believe so, yeah. yeah. Seth, can you confirm that? It's 4-2. Yeah, four two. So the way this works, guys, this is a round robin. So both of these uh, teams will move on um, over the next uh, three weeks, I believe. Um, and they, what will end up happening is each team will play each other team. And what's going to happen is we're going to take all the wins minus all the losses, and the two teams with the most points at the end of this will be going into our main event. The uh, team with the highest number of points will be the first seed and the team with the um, second highest will be the second seed. If the second seed beats the first seed, we'll have a second best of seven just to make sure uh, that the right team won. Otherwise, it's just going to be a one night main event. Hope you guys will tune in to future uh, round robins. We are going to be uh, closing the cast out for about 10 to 15 minutes while we get Mono Battle set up for you guys. So let us know in chat if you want to play. You can join us on Battle.net. That's the North American server. Um, the channel name is Hope TL. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. My co-caster tonight is Sluggy. Sluggy, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us, man. Thank you. It's yeah, been dude. a pleasure. It has, it has, bro. And uh, as always, our MC tonight was Felipe. Felipe, if you would like to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Make sure to join us in that chat channel, like Chef said. Some mono battles getting up and going after this. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Make sure to join us there. All right. And uh, Ben Apogee, you are our observer. If you, uh, you know, I know you can't talk and them hear you, but like, you know. Pretend you say bye. All right. Anyways, <laughs> um, guys, we are. Um, I'm going to be moving into the mono battles. Uh, I'm going to go take care of some administrative stuff on the back end, and uh, we will get the mono battles up on stream in about 10 to 15 minutes. So, hope to see you there, and we'll get it started. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.